Hello everyone, hope this finds you well. If you are watching this for the first time, we are on Zui Academy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will really appreciate. Now, today we want to look at something on what we refer to as two-point perspective drawing. This is a question that is going to be extracted from a neck paper for craft uh, certificate courses, that is plumbing, masonry and carpentry. And the question is... Uh, should be the last question number seven the question is shows a pictorial view of a block use the given layout to draw the block in two point perspective so as you can see this is a shaped block now we have also the layout the layout here we have the plan to be drawn just above the picture plane just one edge at the picture plane and then we have the horizon uh, plane and also the ground level plane so now how do we go about this? It means we are going to first of all draw the layout the way it is by studying with our ground level a plan or what you refer to as ground plan. It's just a horizontal line. Then we can name it as GPL, that is ground plan. Then we get to know where our horizon plan is. It's 60 millimeters above the ground level so we can have our 60 millimeters measured just above our ground level then we draw that horizontal line again and this horizontal line is giving us what we're referring to as horizon plan hbl next we have to locate the picture plane it's 50 millimeters above the HPL so we can locate it here it is now again we draw a straight horizontal line there we go and then we can also name it its picture plan and next we need to draw our plan for this shaped block and the plan is such that one of the side is inclined to the picture plane at 30 degrees so we need to first of all identify the edge where the uh, the plan will meet the picture plane then we'll be able to draw our 30 degree line on which we shall transfer measurement for uh, our plan so this is 60 we transfer it here the longest side of course Then to complete it, it means we draw a perpendicular line to the edges the, from the from every point or every corner. So we slightly move a bit to allow some space and just draw that uh, straight line, this edge, and also come to the other side. Allow some space and also draw this other edge. Then we measure that is 40 millimeters. So we just again transfer 40 millimeters on this side. There we go. Okay, and also this other side we measure 40. Then we just join the two points. So next we need to, uh, to also locate these other faces. The 10 millimeter stretches, that is 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. And they are stretching inwards at some distance. So we just use a parallel line at i think 25 millimeters as per the drawing so we move and also draw this side and we transfer our 25 millimeter so we measure 25 millimeter and just lock it we can just use a straight edge to join the points so let's complete our plan there it is now, once we have done so, let's locate our station point where the observer stands. It is 10 millimeters below the horizon plane. So you can draw this vertical. It's actually directly aligned to the edge of the plan. So we can measure 10 millimeter here. This is the, our station point or where the observer stands as he observes the, the shaped object. Now we can draw a parallel line on at the longest side, of course, the 30 degree, we can draw a line that is parallel to it from the station point. So let's transfer. We draw this line. It's parallel to one of the sides of the plan. 
of course the one that is 30 degrees and also this other side we need to draw another parallel line from the station point these lines are going to be meeting the picture plane as you can see they are all meeting at the picture plane they are meeting there and once they meet you drop them vertically downwards because we are interested in getting what we refer to as vanishing points on the horizon level or horizon plane so we can also drop this vertically so we can identify this as vp1 vanishing point one this one is vp2 vanishing point two now let's proceed now in this question here we need to draw our elevation we already have the front elevation but now let's draw the end elevation the reason as to why we want to draw it it's because we shall project from it and together with whatever we shall project from the plan to get whatever we shall draw us uh, on what we refer to as the perspective so let's just draw the elevation as it is the base is 60 as you can see from the question paper it's 60 so we can draw this vertical side which of course it is 25 huh? height is 25 that's we are drawing the end elevation and then it also has it inwards you draw it inwards okay we can first of all log 25 then we draw horizontal from that point it's going inwards so we draw it and we measure this 25 so we get it and then we draw a vertical here because which is 10 it should be 10 millimeters as per the drawing so we again measure this is 10 so we measure 10 and now we again draw this horizontal we're just drawing the end elevation so let's complete it there it is now uh, let's come back here we need to draw lines from the, all the corners of the plan to the vanish to the station point where the observer is from all the corners it means this observer is seeing every part of that uh, object at those corners whatever the corners that are projected to the observer it means he's, he's able to see these corners it's not a guarantee but it's good just to draw them so that those ones can be seen can be seen so once we draw it the, those lines are crossing the picture plane at points we are referring to as uh, what we refer to as the piercing points so let's first of all project from the end elevation and then we see how they are going to meet with the lines from the piercing points so first of all let's start with the corners the first corner here which is on the picture plane gives us the top point and the point below on the ground so here it's the point yes then we can now project to the vanishing points or the edges and also we do it on this other part here and we draw to the second vanishing point because this is two point perspective and that's why we are using two vanishing points good sorry so we can do it that way then now again we start with the corners the first corner at the back we can drop it from the piercing point the piercing points are point of intersection between the picture plane and those lines we drew from the corners so we can start by this we draw it it gives us the corners at the back which can be again projected to the vanishing point number two because we want to draw the whole block before shaping again we drop this other corner on the right downwards so once it meets those lines we can draw them to the other vanishing point so this is like a complete block we now want to cut now cutting is we take this other part here and then where it meets we project it to the vanishing point one we are actually drawing those uh, small blocks up there how they are moving downwards 
remember we had some two blocks on top of one the big one so we can draw and when we project to the left vanishing point there also this one to the other vanishing point on the right remember we also have this other one so where it pierces the picture plane we drop it again so drop it drop it there it is we drop it this way and again this other corner we drop it where it meets the picture plane drop it vertically downwards just meet those lines and then we project them from the corners back to the two vanishing points. this the one on the right we draw and then again we come back we identify this other point the base of course it's going to the vanishing point here so now we start completing remember there is other corner here which is visible it's piercing point somewhere there so we can draw from here yes and then we draw it so this one keeps the back edge now let's join all the visible lines we can join this and this one here we are just joining so that we get to see what is visible from the observer to give us the perspective drawing we are proceeding slowly hope you are marking all the steps so that please try this at your own time doing this and this it's very enjoyable if you understand I've just messed up uh, this line should not be visible but anyway let's first of all complete now this line here at the top is not visible we have to erase it oh thank you very much and that is it